Oh, hi YouTube. Today we're going to have a look at how mountain thermals work. We're going to have a look at one of my flights I did in Omerima at the end of last season, which was a flight up to Murchison Glacier. Here in the South Island of New Zealand, we're lucky enough to have a very large mountain range running almost the length of the whole island. Many of the mountains are snow capped throughout the year, and this mountain range is home to Mount Cook, which is the highest mountain in New Zealand. So why are mountains so good for gliding? Let's dive in, shall we, and have a look. Mountains are big, and thankfully, they're also angled. This means they get really good sun action. Just like a solar panel works better if it's angled, pointing towards the sun. If the sun's up high, you want your solar panels perpendicular to the light coming in. You get great solar energy heating in the morning and in the evenings, later in the day than you would flatland. Another big advantage, they're made of rocks. Rocks heat up really well in the sun. So we have the sun radiating the rocks from space. That then turns into heat energy, which then is convected into the air above the rocks. That warm air takes time to warm up. As it does so, it becomes more and more buoyant. Initially, it'll stay roughly around where the rocks are, especially if there's no wind to push it or move it. But eventually, it becomes too buoyant and it will start rising. The air has this uncanny ability to stick and cling to the side of the mountain. And probably a good way to think of it, it's not this bubble of air trying to rise, it's all the other air trying to wrap around underneath it. And of course, if there's a mountain and a bubble of air, it's easier for the colder air to go around this side rather than go between that warm air and the mountain. And that makes it sort of rise up beside the mountain. At least that's my theory. I'm not a scientist. Don't quote me on any of this. Now when that bubble of air hits something, like a mountain peak or a big boulder or a rock poking out on the side of the mountain, it'll come off the mountain. That's where it releases itself from the mountain. Okay, I've set up a slightly crazy experiment here. I've put a blob of blue tack on my chopping board. And I'm going to have this upside down on an angle, run water down it, see where the water pops off. It will stick and cling to the side of the chopping board. When it hits this blob of blue tack, it'll pop off. Or when it hits the bottom of the chopping board, it'll pop off. That sort of simulates a mountain, except mountain goes the other way with warm air going up the side of the mountain. If it hits a trigger point, some sort of peak or a little ridge or something, it might come off that or keep going up the top and come off the peak at the top. So for gliding, it's way better if we can fly along the peaks of the mountains. You don't want to be in the valley. Sometimes it's just one side of the mountain that's heated. Other times it's both sides. Sometimes you might have wind coming up one side and heat coming off the other side. We really want to fly with one wing on either side of the mountain. You also have the problem that this air tends to cling very tightly to the mountain. It's not very far off the mountain side. So you usually can't get a glider that close to the mountain. You're often better off finding a lower peak or ridge line where you can climb off instead. And then once you get up high enough, then get onto the main mountain range. So you can really see in these clips how the clouds are forming over the peaks of the mountains. We've got the sun coming from our right hitting those mountain slopes and going up the side of the mountains, creating the line of clouds. So for a glider pilot, we know where to fly. It's between the mountain peak and the cloud, and you know there'll be heat and thermal energy going up between the two. Don't forget to check out our merch store. We've got some cool t-shirts and designs. Get your orders in now for Christmas, because shipping times can take a while, especially in these COVID times. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that. And we'll catch you next time where I'll talk about something else.